Okay, we're doing what they eat this, but... <laughs> Okay, well this one, the, the lobules aren't as distinct, okay, which is fine because you just saw them. Um, but on this one, the sinusoids are a little more clear and the central veins are a little more clear. Okay, so here's the central vein, and that would be in the center of the, of the lobule. red blood cells you're seeing in there. And so the liver cells, the nucleus is showing up purple, circular, and so these are all the individual liver cells, and these passageways that are snaking through between the liver cells, those are what? What are these? The sinusoids. Those are the sinusoids. Okay, that the, means a vein, but like a vein. It's a vein. Like remember we have the superior sagittal sinus? That's a vein. Okay, so not talking skull, spaces in the skull, this is a different type of a sinus, this is the vein. Um, so sinus light, because sinuses are usually large veins, so these are, these are like little small veins. So these are sinusoids, so the blood can go through the liver tissue, because one of the liver shells is it takes out toxins, things such as alcohol from your, from your blood. So it also gets rid of um, old red blood cells. Um, so here, sinusoids, and go even a little closer. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is a nice slide. So here's the hepatocyte. The hepatocyte has the liver cell. See the nucleus? Here's the central vein. And so the sinusoids are leading to the central vein. stretches out in the sectioning so it looks giant, it's not really that big, it just collapses, the walls collapse because it's not very <coughs> strong. See how thin the, the, the wall is? And then the artery and the bile duct. Um, so the three together, what are they called? 
Yeah, lymphatic triad or triad, yeah. There. <laughs> Questions about that? Probably the easiest Is one. The hepatic so. portal, the vein, hepatic portal. Yes, there's a, but you don't need to know the, the individual names. Okay, esophagus. Memorize those are in the submucosa, and that will help you identify the layers. Esophagus, you should remember, you should learn, memorize that it's the this type of epithelia. What kind of type of epithelia is that? Yeah, the non keratinic stratified squamous. Yeah. I see it says wet on there. Doesn't say non keratinized. Doesn't then. say non keratinized. But it is. But you guys know it's not dry tonight. Okay. Yeah. So stick with that. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, so that'll be a distinguishing feature for you from the small intestine, large intestine, and the stomach. Those are all simple columnar, um, which is hard to identify, but this stratified squamous is totally identifiable. So that should be a tip off for esophagus. Okay, so then we have these guys. So we know which main layer are we looking at that these are in? Submucosa. Submucosa. And what are these structures? Esophageal glands. Esophageal glands. Good. And so then let's back, back out so you can see where the mucosa is. Because we identified the epithelial part. That's one of the sublayers. Um, we need to see the lamina propria and then the muscularis mucosi, all part of the mucosa main layer. Okay, mucosa main layer is the innermost layer. So this is where the food would be, over here. Okay, you can see that this esophagus is thrown into some folds, although not on every one will you see the esophagus thrown into the folds like that. Um, so mucosa layer is from here. Here's a superficial or free edge all the way over to the muscularis mucosi. This is a pretty uh, mellow version of the muscularis mucosi. It's not super identifiable, but I see a little trace of it here and there. It's, it's not that strong in some parts of the esophagus. Okay, so that wouldn't be a great slide for you to identify that on, but I want to show it to you. Okay, so what's this main layer from here to here? Mucosa. And what about this? What's this sublayer of the main layer? What's the name of this? Lamina. Yeah, the lamina propria. That's the underlying connective tissue for your mucous membrane. Okay, this is the mucous membrane here. Okay, so mucosa, main layer, lamina propria, muscularis mucosi, and non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. All that, main layer, mucosa. So, main layer submucosa starts approximately in here. Goes over that way, deeper. Okay, until we get the pretty different looking muscle tissue here. Yeah, the main layer for that. What is that? One more time. Muscularis externa. Good. Yeah, it's 
I won't ask you, is it distal, is it proximal? Okay, and I won't ask you to identify whether it's skeletal or smooth. Because I, I think it's hard. I think it's hard. It's not obvious. That looks pretty sure that's skeletal. But I, I won't ask you to identify the skeletal versus smooth. Okay, and I won't ask you to identify the uh, distal versus proximal. But you should know it's soft skin. Okay, so then what's this main layer out here? That's the adventitia. Yeah. Adventitia, outer main layer, adventitia. The one that um, collagen fibers anchors the esophagus to the uh, anchors the esophagus, stabilizes esophagus. And this is muscular externa. You can see there's two layers right there. You have one right there and one there. So it can have two layers? Yes, the muscularis externa has two two sublayers. Yeah, circular and longitudinal. Esophagus is, is a little weird, so I I wasn't sure if you'd be able to differentiate the two in the esophagus. You don't always, but in all the other outer organs, you should. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Some of these other ones take even a little more time on that. All right, stomach. has three layers of, of muscle. And you cannot differentiate the three layers here. And I also see that it goes straight muscle kind of hanging and then there's nothing. So what's missing here? Missing, the main layer missing there on the stomach. The outer shiny one on the stomach. It's very thin. The rosa. the rosa, yeah. So that's missing. So you can put a note on your on your lab there, or wherever um, the, our stomach slides. No serosa. Okay. So this main layer here. A lot of it. Okay, the stomach is very strong. Okay, it breaks up the food, um, turns it. And so what main layer is this here? I do see there's some adipose embedded in there, but this is the muscle layer. So this is the what? <coughs> That's the muscularis externa. Yeah, so all of this. Separated out a little bit right there. Okay, wouldn't really be separated out like that. Um, on our... Um, on the one that's on the slide for that, is that uh, the G4L45? Yes, G4L. And it doesn't, I, I'm not seeing anywhere it says where it says muscular external yeah, on here. Yeah, it doesn't say it on this one. Yes, it doesn't say it on your stomach, but you need to identify all four of those main layers on oh, every oh, slide. Oh, 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 okay, that's right. You guys didn't forget that, right? Right. Yeah, did you? Every slide. You tried to, but it didn't work. Okay. 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 Yeah, so all, all the organs should be able to identify the four main layers. Okay, unless, you know, unless I tell you otherwise, like on the stomach, no serosa. Okay, we told you that. Okay, so on the stomach, it has what's called gastric pit and gastric gland. Okay, the pit is the part where it goes down. Kind of like that. So that's the opening to the gastric pit. Some of them are more prominent than others. Okay, so like here is a pretty obvious one. So this is the gastric pit. There's lots of goblet cells here. There's some mucus. A lot of stuff here on the, on the, on the stomach. This is the gastric pit. Okay, so this opening is the gastric pit. The glandular cells are down here, lining the inside of the pit. Okay, so you don't have to identify the different, the chief cell or the other ones that are on there, forget. Um, you don't have to identify them, but they're down here. So the gland is down here in this area. The gastric gland? Yes, the gastric gland. Yeah. 
Okay, so here's the gastric pit. And the gland cells are down here. There's lots of goblet cells down here too. Because all this bubbly stuff, those are all goblet cells. noted on the board over there, under stomach, it should say lots of adipose in the submucosa. Okay, so we'll, we'll get to that. So if you just scan down there, okay, yeah, lots of adipose, that must be the submucosa. Okay, so up here though, so this mucosa layer, kind of a big mess, huh? Okay, mucosa layer is from here, okay, this free edge, down to approximately here. This is all lamina propria, all of this, the whole area. Yeah, all of this. Okay, the epithelial lining is here. Okay, it's very difficult to differentiate the individual simple columnar cells. We can take a look, but I don't think that will be able to. the nuclei clearly. Okay, so here's the epithelial cells. This is the nucleus. And there's so many goblet cells that you just see all the goblet cells squished in. Okay, so epithelial cells is your simple columnar. So stomach has simple columnar, small intestine, large intestine, simple columnar. where you can see the muscularis mucosae pretty well. Here it really blends in with the surrounding <coughs> tissue. I mean, I know that's it. And if you zoom in even closer. Um, you kind of have a separation. You can see it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can see the smooth muscle. Yeah, see this looks like smooth muscle. So that's a little layer of muscularis mucosae that's part of the inner mucosa layer. Um, and that moves the folds, the plate when it contracts. All right, so then down to the main layer here. So we got that main layer. So then what's this main layer from about here down? Main layer? Submucosa. Submucosa, yeah, good. And then it changes again. Now what main layer are we looking at? Muscular. Muscular externa, you're getting it. Great. Okay, I think we've got. Submucosa has the adipose, right? Pardon? Submucosa? Submucosa has adipose, but also actually the muscular mixture does have some adipose in it too. But here's a more typical looking muscular mixture. Okay, move on to that one. part of another villus from another part of the small of the small intestine. So these are these finger-like projections and they're coming out all the way around the circular structure, right? So if you cut 
like this, and you have another one, say like this, then you cut like this, you might get the tips of some of the other ones. So you're seeing kind of like the hair follicles in the skin where occasionally you get a nice view of a whole follicle, but often you just have partial follicles. So that's what, that's what you're seeing. These are just part of a villi from a, another part of the, of the small intestine. And um, so this is a villus. And what main layer is this part of? Mucosa. Yep, mucosa. Okay, let's look at that a little closer. Now we need to find the epithelial and the lamina propria. Okay, the epithelia is always the most external. Okay, so if we have a finger like projection as a villus, the epithelia should be like um, lining, covering my finger around the edge. So you can see it here. And now, do you see the goblet cells? Look for those. Oh, yeah. The bubbles? Yeah. Bubbles? Yeah, so here's a goblet cell, here's a goblet cell. This actually looks pretty good. Let's look a little closer so we can see what some actual simple formula looks like. Okay, so stomach, small intestine, large intestine, all simple columnar. Whereas the mouth, the esophagus, with the stratified squamous, okay, non keratinized. So you can group it that way, okay, in your, in your head. So yeah, it looks like some, some simple columnar there. See those? Okay, so then we're a little too close there. Um, the inside of the villus then. So what's the next sublayer after the we got the we got the epithelial? So then what's this tissue called? Lamina propria. Yeah, so here's the lamina propria. Also down here. Okay, so here's a big villus coming off. This is the lamina propria, lamina propria, goblet cell, goblet cell. Go back out one. Okay, so intestinal crypts are something, a structure that you're going to see all in the small intestine and in the colon and the large intestine. Um, and those are, if you find the villi or you, and you find your mucosa layer, they're going to be kind of at the base of the mucosa layer. So this is where you have epithelial renewal, intestinal crypts, and we'll go over this on Monday as well. So these are intestinal crypts down here. It's kind of oval shaped or elongated structures at the base of a villus. So intestinal crypt, intestinal crypt, intestinal crypt. This is a great one for main layers, also a great one for the muscularis mucosi. See if you can find the muscularis mucosi sublayer. Um, 
The circular is inner, maybe. The circular is inner only if it's only if it's there's a clear difference. Does this look different than that? It does. So this is the inner circular, and this is the outer longitudinal. Yes. It doesn't really set the limit. It doesn't, but that's because of the that's because of the cut you have here. This is a cross section. You have a cross, a cross section. So if this is a small intestine, and you do a cross section like this, the fibers are circular, they're going around like this, then you're going to get a nice view, a nice long view, a full view of the fibers. And that's what you're seeing in this one. So just remember inner circular and outer longitudinal will do much better than trying to figure out the way that it's oriented. Okay, so then move on. All right, so small intestine, should we see, ooh, not a very good example. Should we see the adventitia or the serosa? We should see the serosa, some adipose. Now you're kind of getting a little more of a trained eye. Um, what's this main layer from here to about here? Mucosa. What's the main layer from here to about here? Submucosa. Good. And main layer from here to here? Muscular externa. And uh, what? may or may not be there, uh, we'll get a little closer, we can maybe see what is the very thin one be right out here? Serosa. Yes, it's still small intestine. It has a serosa. Sir, where did you say that, um, how would you tell if there's a serosa or an adventitia? Um, the adventitia, I'll, I'll give you the best example. The adventitia will look thicker, um, like on the esophagus, more significant. Um, Collagen fibers and the serosa will is just a little thin, very thin line, pretty much like right along here. So I don't on everything else, other than the esophagus, as far as what you're looking at. Uh, let's see, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Yes. All right. So in the jejunum, are you going to see? Glands in the submucosa? No. No glands. No, no glands. Okay, that's the distinguishing feature of the submucosa. No glands or other structures. No fire patches or um, what's the other one? The duodenal glands. You don't. We know it's not the esophagus. We don't see the esophageal glands. There's some some adipose there though. Okay, so this is the muscularis mucosae here pretty prominent right there. The villi on this one are, are kind of tough. It's just, there's just a lot going on here. Okay, so here, not as easy to see as on the, on the, the previous. So here's the villus right here. They're just very squished together and there's a lot of mucus. Um, but this is the villus. So then there's goblet cells, the hot pink, and then the epithelia is in between. Like here you can see some epithelia right up there. So then what's this here? What's this called? 
Yeah, the whole thing's a jejunum, but what sublayer, what sublayer is this in here? Laminopropia. Yeah, that's laminopropia. Laminopropia is inside of the villus. Okay, this looks good. What kind of epithelia is this? Simple pulmonar. Simple pulmonar. Look, it actually looks like simple pulmonar. Mm -hmm. I should jot this down for when we do the epithelia. Because remember, we couldn't find one that actually looked like simple pulmonar? Did you know? Okay. So I look at the goblet cells. Those are cool. Okay, so simple columnar. This is the villus. This is the tip of a villus. Here's your simple columnar epithelium. Here's the underlying connective tissue. It's a realer tissue. Its name is the lamina propria. Okay, we go down here at the base of the villi. We have these structures that produce new epithelial cells. What are these called? Intestinal. Those are the intestinal crypts. Okay, they all have intestinal crypts. Small intestine and large intestine. So I thought that the intestinal crypt is the circular, the red portion? No, the red are goblet cells. Okay, so which is the, the actual? I'll back it up a little. We'll see what At the base of the villus, it's sort of oval. Some on the other uh, the other structure, uh, other slides, they were kind of a little more oblong. It's this. This is the intestinal crypt. It includes the epithelial cells and the goblet cells. Oh, okay. So it's a structure that includes both. Yes. Okay. So the base of the villi. Okay. So we did those main layers. We did that. We did that. And I just wanted to look at the serosa. Should have a pen. naturally occurring in the body or even if you've ingested something and so if they try to pass in to the body from the tract you have these large collections of lymphatic tissue and what are these called Pires. yeah those are Pyers patches and they're in which main layer are they located in submucosa yeah just like the esophageal glands just like the duodenal gland, submucosa. Jejunum, nothing unusual in the submucosa. This is ilium. Okay, so see how, here's the, here's the regular looking submucosa. Right here. Okay, so it really just takes up almost the whole submucosa when you see these. So what's that called again? Tire's patch. Tire's patch. Yeah, hang in there, just last few minutes. And what's this main layer here? Good, and look, there's two sublayers. So what's this inner sublayer? 
Circular muscle, circular, uh huh. And what's this one? Longitudinal. What kind of tissue is it? Not skeletal. Smooth muscle. Smooth muscle. Good. Is a, is a is a large fold. Okay, so in your in your martini textbook, there's a very good pictures of it. So it's just something that if you cut open the small intestine, you would see these folds, and they're circular is because they go around. That's all like is. It's not something that we actually can't see it on this one. And you couldn't see it on that one that I said, but there was one slide that you could fold up and see kind of a wave. Okay, any questions about the ileum, uh, intestinal crypts? I guess we'll point those out. Last thing, see if you can find the intestinal crypts. The base, look for them at the base of the villi. Okay, here. Okay. Is that a lumen in the light colored part of that? Yes. It is a lumen. Mm -hmm. All right, great job, you guys. We're charged. Um, can you get the lights back there? Off office hours on Monday. Can't, I can't have office hours on Wednesday.